Do you remember this pop culture moment? Don't you She returns the snake and finishes the number, not missing a single step. After the risque performance, tabloids and newspapers around the world weighed in on Britney's new image and sound. Everybody seemed to have something to say about her obvious reinvention, even garnering threats from the public. This performance was the main topic of conversation until five days later on September 11th, 2001, for obvious reasons. Britney released I'm a Slave for You on September 25th, 2001, and it only peaked at number 27 on the Hot 100, becoming her first single to not peak in the top 10. Britney proved to the world that she was ready to become more than just another teen pop star and transition into an icon, and none of this would have happened if Britney didn't perform at the 2001 VMAs with a python around her neck.